Today I want to talk to you guys about what Shopify apps you guys should be using and which ones you shouldn't be using. All of you guys that are probably watching this video are actively searching out Shopify apps that you should be looking for, where that's the wrong approach. So let's dive right into this. I'm going to tell you guys which Shopify apps that I use to get over a 6% conversion rate on a lot of my stores that I utilize this. So first thing is, is there's a lot of marketing apps like Kit. Kit is a great example. We're all probably familiar with Kit. Kit will actually post to um, your social media for you and advertise for you. Should you be using this? Absolutely effing not. And I apologize for that. But no, we never ever ever want to use apps for marketing. Kit does a horrible job. Yes, it's convenient. Yes, it's cool. They have a great marketing campaign, but they're horrible. It doesn't optimize. It's not good for social media. It doesn't look right. And some of the other marketing apps take 10% of your sales. If you're using a retargeting app right now, stop. I'm going to be very upset with you. Do not. Retargeting apps take 10%. It'll take you about five minutes to set this up. So you're giving up 10% for five minutes of knowledge. I'll put a link right below this video to a video that'll show you how to set up your retargeting campaign. It's effortless. It's free. Don't pay someone to do this. Marketing cannot be outsourced. That is the proprietary aspect of your online business. Do not outsource this. Okay, guys? Next thing, customer service. Don't outsource this from an app. You can get a virtual assistant to handle this. We're gonna talk about a good app that will integrate here. It's called Improved Contact Form. I've got a big list of them, don't worry guys. Improved Contact Form. These are all gonna be linked below the video. So Improved Contact Form is awesome because it gives a little pop-up where they can message you. It will email to you. You can have a live chat function through an app called um, Hotjar, which is great. We're gonna to get to that, Lucky Orange and Hotjar. Now, this is the big thing. We don't want to outsource the actual customer service aspect, but you can have an app that makes it easier for them to communicate with you. That's the difference when you guys are looking at these apps. I'm not just going to give you a black and white list of good apps, bad apps. You need to know because apps are always changing. There's new ones coming out. There's old ones going out. Um, and sorry, we need to make sure we don't ask, outsource the actual customer service aspect through an app. Get a virtual assistant if you need to do that. Now, site design. Yes, yes, yes. This is three checks. There's some great apps for site design. You know, whether you need a free shipping bar on the top, you need anything done like that, site design is something we're accepting, you know, have an app for. Install an app for site design, that's awesome, okay guys? Those are the categories of apps that I like to classify. Anything that, that makes production easier, you know, production time, um, or saves you time, yes, this is fine. And I'm talking about, you know, things like ShipRobot, helping you get orders out the door, Trackify, to track your orders for your customers, things like that, that's awesome. Okay, but we never, ever, 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 ever want to outsource this marketing aspect. So let's talk about some of the top apps that I use. Beekeating. This is a great app designer. Beekeating's got a lot of cool apps that you guys can utilize. Um, I encourage you just to type in Shopify Beekeating on, uh, on Google and check out what they have to offer. They've got some great ones at a reasonable price. Again, stay away from some of the customer service things, but they, they're awesome. Their apps are great. Hotjar. This is not a Shopify app. It's hotjar.com. Calm, okay? This app is amazing and it's free. We don't need the paid version. What this app does is it allows you to record consumers or customers when they come to your website. You can see everything that they do. You can literally watch exactly what they did when they interacted with your website. This helps us a lot when it comes to improving our conversion rates. We can find, hey, maybe this is a backlink that's not working. Maybe people are getting confused by this piece of information. Maybe they're leaving for this reason, blah, 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 blah. That's an amazing app. I study it like a Bible when it comes to my stores. Hotjar is awesome and it's free. Free. This is this is huge. Anything that's free like that, utilize it, okay guys? Cross sell. That's literally what the app is called. The link's below this again. What is a cross sell? Should we be having cross sells on our site? Yes. So basically when people scroll down your page and they're looking at your product, the further they scroll down, the less likely they are to buy that product. They're looking at information, but they're probably not gonna buy it. When they get to the bottom, they went, oh, I'm not going to buy this product because they went so far that they didn't want that one. They're, they're looking at information now and they're not getting the information that they want. So a cross sell helps us recoup those customers basically. They got to the bottom of our site. Now we want to offer them a different product because they weren't going to buy anyways. Let's try to find them a different product that they will buy. It's how we retain a customer and get more value out of a customer. Okay. That's a great app. I definitely recommend this. It's cheap. There's a 14 day free trial. I believe it's awesome. Instashop. Do you use Instagram? You should be using Instashop live feed of your Instagram to your store that they can actually shop on. So if I'm selling this t-shirt, I can have a picture of me with this and it tags the t-shirt and they click that photo um, in my Instagram live feed on my website and it shows the t-shirt right where they can buy it. There's a link to it saying buy it now. It's amazing. If you use Instagram to sell product, definitely install this app. It is worth it. MailChimp. 
I hope you guys already have MailChimp. I'm going to be upset if you don't. MailChimp is awesome. Best email provider for you guys' size. If you're watching this video, I'm guessing that that's the case. Clavio is better if you guys have 15,000 emails or more. Let's, let's put that at the cap. 10 to 15,000 emails or more. Clavio is a little bit better. But we want MailChimp. For everything that we need, MailChimp is the best. It's cheap. It's great. It integrates perfectly. Upsell by Bold. Must have app. Must have, must have, must have app. Upsell by Bold is amazing because it, you can have a different upsell based off the product that they select if they're clicking the add to cart button or the actual checkout button. Amazing. The power of this app is incredible. Upsells don't drop conversions. Remember that, guys. Upsells do not drop conversions. They just increase basket size. There's really no negative impact of them. So try them. It's not going to hurt you, right? And, and Bold's got another free day, free 14-day trial, I believe. Check it out. Improved contact form. That was the one I was talking about right there. I don't need to reiterate that. Now, there's a couple other things I wanted to talk about. Hotjar has a paid version, and this is what's going to be related to this customer service aspect. Hotjar's got a paid version, and so does Lucky Orange. Okay, I'm just going to write this here. Lucky Orange, and this one is a Shopify app. Lucky Orange. Basically, what this is, there's a paid version where you can have a contact form that's a live chat. So if you're sitting on your computer working all day, you can install this. Someone can live chat you and say, hey, I have a question about this, blah, 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 and you can answer them instantly. Very powerful for conversions, but this does take a lot of time to do. So keep that in mind. These are some of the apps that I use for Shopify. There's a lot that always come out, so I can't make you a solidified list of what you should and shouldn't have. But remember, these are the key takeaways. Never, ever, ever anything for marketing or posting. Nothing, nothing. It looks horrible. It looks cheap. You're being lazy. Go and schedule your posts. You can schedule a post on Facebook very easily. Do that instead, okay? Don't, don't do anything for marketing or posting. Your social image should never be done through an app, okay? It's just horrible. Shouldn't be paying for that. Retargeting campaigns, guys, that is just wasting money. So make sure if you have one of those, check out the link to my retargeting campaign video and say thank you in the comments because I know you'll appreciate that when you see that. But customer service, not the actual customer service side, but the support form side we can outsource, right? Through apps, that's amazing. Site design and production, all good for time process. Now. If you guys are just starting on Shopify, you should not be going and searching through that Shopify app store and getting anything that seems applicable. You guys should wait until you have a need that you need fulfilled and find an app for it. That's the process that we do this. We don't go and see, oh, that app would be great, I should do that. No, wait until you have a need that you need fulfilled. I need a free shipping bar? Oh, now I'll go check out the app store for that, okay? That's the mindset. If you guys just try to get all these apps, you're gonna be paying a $200 in monthly fees and apps alone, and you're gonna be looking at your credit card going, holy cow, when did this happen, right? So don't lose touch of that. Okay guys, I think that's very important to note. Now, that's it all I forgot. That's all I have for this video, sorry. Um, if you guys enjoy this, please give me the thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to my channel. That's the only reason I keep doing this. I want you guys to comment any e-commerce questions you want me to answer. I'm currently doing a $5,000 cash giveaway, depending on the date that you watch this video. Um, it's, I'm posting 100 YouTube videos over 100 days. So if you guys see that, the link to my contest is below. You don't have to do anything, you just have to watch my videos and you get a chance to win $5,000 cash. So. If you guys are interested, please check out the links below this video. Thank you very much for watching.